Okay, let's head over to the kitchen, and he is back with another fantastic recipe that we are buzzing about. Luke, how are you, my friend? You good? Mike, I am great. On Tuesdays, we eat brilliant brownies with Ooh. buzzing berry coolie and whipped coconut cream. I want you to try and say that fast backwards. Well, no. <laughs> I don't even want to attempt it. Maybe after I've tasted them. How's that? It sounds good to me. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. So this is a healthy version of a brownie. So uh -huh. it looks like, what is this? Just out of curiosity, you've got a bit of kumara there. I know, we've got some kumara and yeah. we've also got some shredded beetroot. Okay, cool. <laughs> they bring out a really beautiful earthiness to this brownie. And I tell you what, the kids won't even know they're in there. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, we'll show you how to do this very soon. Luke, you're making a bit of a mouthful, a brilliant brownie with buzzing berry, kool and whipped coconut cream. That is exactly right, no, no, Mike. No, but it's healthy. How does that work? It is healthy because we're packing it with vegetables. So nice. we've got kumara and beetroot. So what we're going to do... You, can you call it a brownie if you're putting vegetables in you it? You totally can because when you bite into it, it is gooey, fudgy and chocolatey Ooh. in the centre Ooh. with that crispy top, which we all know and love with the brownie. That's right. Uh -huh. Jesus, oh, you're making me melt over here, You know here, what? <laughs> Chocolate is my weak spot. Yeah, true. Uh, <laughs> tell you what, it's, it's a very exciting day in the kitchen for me today. I don't know where the beetroot's my weak spot, but uh, that's what <laughs> we've just put in there, is it? Yeah, so we've got kumara, beetroot. We're going to go with almond meal. Have you cooked with almond meal before? No, I have not. So it's literally almonds that have been ground down to a fine powder instead of using a regular flour base. All okay, right. nice. So I've used that. Yes. We're going to crack in four eggs in here as well. I'll let you do the this eggs. This is going to help. Oh, I won't remind the audience about last week. Last week, yeah. When we made the beefed up shakshuka on Wednesday. That's right. And there was a little bit of crackage. You showed your crack. <laughs> All right? I That's did. exactly right. And it, and it's your went, turn now. And it went yeah. everywhere. All right, so in here we've got raw cacao powder as well. And that is a superfood packed full of magnesium, makes us feel good. Yep. And then, of course, some manuka honey. We couldn't be in New Zealand wow. without using some beautiful, gorgeous, rich manuka honey. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at how that just drizzles in there, just like so. And that's got medicinal benefits as well. Nice. So you can't go wrong. And that's one of my favourite brands, actually, Streamland Honey, which we mm -hmm. have here in the cafe. Mm -hmm. You want to finish that off yeah, for I me? Yeah, I will, actually. Mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> like you do 30 that. bucks worth. Yeah. Now, I'm going to get the lid on here. And the last but not least thing we want to add in here is actually coconut oil. I'm listening, Luke. Yeah, Melted down. Do you love it? Mm, you want a good. sugar high? <laughs> yeah, I <am>. All right. <laughs> coconut. <laughs> coconut oil. Yeah. It adds a good form of fat to make this chocolate brownie fudgier than ever. Nice. Now... I'm not good with devices, no. <laughs> but I have a feeling we're going to have some action here today. Turn that action on. Hang on. Here we go. Hold on. Let's just put the lid on. It's almost like I'm getting set up. No, I didn't do anything. No, but there you go. You're away laughing now, aren't you? <laughs> so I give it a good blitz. Yep. And then look at that. Mm. Can I give that it a is, smell? Do you want to have a smell? What is oh, it? Okay. Oh, yeah, you can smell the cocoa. Do you get that? Yeah. Um, chocolatey? You get chocolatey. Rich. Rich. Delicious. And a little tinge of sweetness as well. So now, that's perfect. And it's healthy. That's exactly Brilliant. right. Mm. Exactly right. Now, when we come back, I'm going to showcase two additives that we're going to do, which is the buzzing berry coolie mm -hmm. and the whipped vanilla coconut cream. And I'll tell you what, when you combine all of these elements together, it is a winning dish 10 out of 10. Nice. And is this in your book? It certainly is. Healthy made easy. 140 recipes to make sure that healthy is actually easy and delicious. OK, we're back in the kitchen and now we're going to make our buzzy berry Kool-Aid. That is exactly right. So all you need is some mixed berries. Yep. You can go just raspberries, blueberries or a little bit of a combination of your favourite berries that you've got at home. So we're going to put these into a saucepan. Look at that sizzle. <laughs> We've done frozen berries today. OK, so you can use frozen berries. Yeah, you yep. can use frozen berries, absolutely. Now, what takes this buzzy berry coolie mm -hmm. to the next level <laughs> is the addition of some lemon juice. OK. Now, often the lemon brings out that tartness that we're already very familiar with when it comes to berries. So yeah. get the lemon juice in there as well. Now, this is all going to slowly cook down until it becomes that beautiful red mixture that you know to be smeared on dessert plates. Mm. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. All right, so we get that in there, and there's one final ingredient. We want to add just a little bit more honey okay. to this mixture because berries and lemon, quite tart. Yes. So we want to balance sweeten the flavours. We're going to sweeten it up a little bit. 
and we're going to do it just like that. We don't need the whole deal there. Right. We just need a little bit to go through. Nice. And then we stir that through gently, just like so. And okay. what we're wanting to achieve here, I'll let you do that, I can is do we want to break that honey down and incorporate it into those delicious berries. And then we're going to be good to go. Okay, nice. Now the brownies in the oven. We had that beautiful chocolate mixture that we put into a baking tray. We actually put it into two ramekins because there's one for me and then one for the rest of everyone else. Um, so <laughs> that's how that, you know, and then uh, we're going to top that with the berry coolie yeah. and the whipped vanilla coconut cream. So what we've done is we've whipped some coconut cream right here and then all we need to do is add a little dash of maple syrup. Okay. Which is absolutely delicious. So we're going to pour that in there. Yeah, you're quite a fan of the coconut, aren't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. That's exactly right. A lot of people have allergies right. um, to dairy, to gluten, um, and often people are trying to avoid refined sugars. So what I try to give people is a healthy alternative so that they know they can still cook with everyday ingredients but avoid some of those irritants that might be causing them health issues. You know, that's good. That's, and that's what we like. We like tasty food that's healthy. Uh-huh. But, you know, you don't want to be the one that misses out. You don't want to be eating sawdust, for example, do you? That yeah. is exactly right. I guess what I want to do, and with Healthy Made Easy, is showcase that healthy food is delicious. Nice. But most of all, it's really easy and anyone can do it. If there's anyone at home who wants to make a positive lifestyle change, just small, easy steps each and every day can make a positive long-term change. So don't put pressure on yourself to achieve everything in one day. Just make small changes every day that are going to lead to a positive outcome. And look at this. This is a fine example of that positive change. Come on, come on. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep stirring. And you, you keep stirring. And you, you scrape your pod. Now, I wanna, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> scraping my pod with those type of compliments. And basically what we've got here is a vanilla bean nice. pod. All right. And as you can see, I've split it open mm. through the middle. And then we've got those beautiful seeds that I'm adding into this whipped coconut cream. So it goes to the next level, it becomes whipped vanilla coconut cream. And it is absolutely delicious. Okay, nice. Now look, getting back to your uh, to the brownie in the oven, how uh -huh. long do we put that on for and at what temperature? So it's at 180 degrees yes. for 30 to 40 minutes and it is going to be mouthwateringly delicious. Okay, and looking here at my coulee. Ooh, very fancy. And it's, 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 you know, you don't want to boil it, do you? Or do you just want to reduce it? What no, am I doing No, you don't here? need to boil it up. Okay, that, cool. That's looking fantastic. As you can see, it it's down starting to thicken up. Okay. Any type of sauce you have in a pan with the lid off is going to thicken up. Cool. Yum. This smells delicious. That vanilla pod as well. I love vanilla <laughs> pods. I love well, it. We usually get lazy and we just use vanilla essence. So you recommend vanilla pods. Absolutely. But, but better. Real food, real ingredients always shine through. Nice work. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I bet you this is going to look fantastic. It's smelling fantastic at the moment. We'll finish it off. It is time <laughs> to plate up. So we've got the vanilla coconut cream going yeah. in there and going to do a big family version. Nice. And then on top, we're going to finish it off with the buzzing berry coolie. You can't go wrong. Get the berry coolie on there. And I'm coming over because i got some hungry peeps who are yes, ready to get this red hot go. Hello, Yum. Christmas. Yum. Yum.